Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a wardrobe tour. <coughs> Excuse me, this isn't a room tour, although I've got a stain on my top. Have I? Hmm. I have filmed like a room transformation video where I, <laughs> my voice went so gross then. Anyway, I filmed like the whole process. That'll be a separate video, but this is gonna be the wardrobe tour. This will probably come first because the other video has a lot of footage. So a little bit of background info. I used to have two wardrobes. Well, I had like a wardrobe and then I had like a chest, not even a chest of drawers, like an armoire. And both of them were old and vintage. And someone was really sweet, someone said they had a lot of character, which they did, but they didn't really fit anything in. And the door of the wardrobe where it had got wet when we stored it outside or something, it had warped and it wasn't really, oh, the wardrobe's not even closed. It just wasn't really working, especially because I have a lot of clothes. Oh. I just literally tripped over my own two feet then. <laughs> Especially because of the nature of the job, I have a lot of stuff. But basically, in IKEA, you can like choose a, a wardrobe, a set of wardrobe, and customize it. So, for example, like I bought this wardrobe, and then it is a bit noisy, but Dad's gonna try to fix it. Then you can customize everything in it. Like you could just have two rails. You could have like a million drawers. That's what I love about it is you can customize the whole thing. Anyway, today I'm gonna to take you through a tour of my clothes. I do want to remind you guys before I get loads of hate that this wasn't all bought this year. A lot of this stuff I've had literally like two, three, going on four years. And I donated six bags to charity and then bags to recycling, clothes recycling, which also so it gets given to people who can't afford clothes and stuff. So I didn't just throw it in the bin. Um, and then I also have maybe three bags for Depop too. So before I get loads of like, bleh, oh, you're so greedy. Um, yes, I do need to clear it out though a lot. Um, he looks my hair by the way. It's a look. But yeah, I'm gonna take you towards it. So I, as I said, this is Ikea. This is what it looks like in my room. It's two meters wide. And then it almost hits my ceiling. So I got the doors that you can like push you know so i chose to have obviously a shelf one lot of rails and then two different types of drawers in this side of the wardrobe so firstly up at the top are all of my jumpers now this is like two layers thick of hoodies and jumpers again a lot of these i still need to throw out but i just hate getting rid of like clothes i don't know i get like literally separation anxiety from my clothes i'm such a hoarder but i have a lot of jumpers the ones at the front are the ones that i wear the most so that is what's up there although when it gets colder and colder those will kind of change out here maybe some of my jeans so they're more accessible but right now they're okay the only thing is is it's a bit high so i have to stand on my bed or i have a stool over there so it's okay then i have my rail i am gonna go to primani and get more of these hangers because these ones are too small for some of my tops and it looks kind of ugly like being all mixed but that's not a huge priority right now it's actually like winter now autumn so it's super rainy and gross so i don't actually really need these skirts out but these are just a couple of the skirts that i wear more in case of an event or clubbing these are kind of the skirts that i would wear clubbing and yeah i'm not ready to put them away quite yet then i mean this looks like it's laundry i think it is to be honest i bought it in america i'm obsessed with it some more clubbing dresses these are um hope's notice line actually love this so there's all kind of like clubbing dresses and stuff and then when I get new clothes for example that I want to photograph I'll put them up here or a lot of this is what I'll look through for events like these are my kind of cooler tops so not really got like that much option I mean I've worn all of this to events a million times before but it's all good I'm not that bothered then behind I am hoping to buy better storage than this because oh, I have a toilet roll because I had a cold but I guess if I run out of toilet roll ever I have a secret stash that I will share though <laughs> so I need to get more storage but for now I needed places to put my stuff so i have this jumper oops that needs to go somewhere else and then this this whole container is just full of bags but i currently am waiting for this to go back up so i can put bags there and then i also have railings here i just need to get rid of like this is faux fur obviously like i don't i don't really need that i won't wear it but i have my nice bags there then this is full of sunglasses move it over we have my swimming costumes the ones that didn't fit in my under bed storage i actually have four huge storage things under my bed so some there and then we also have more bags and then belts 
so yes and then this is just really random i just didn't have anywhere to put it i found this and i was clearing out old stuff and mum just put it all in here and organized it for me bless her she was so helpful for this whole process and my dad very kindly obviously put the whole wardrobe up but like i found 30 million tampons and like six packets of tissues and cereal bars and hot chocolate and stuff and obviously my grace fit bands super random but I'm actually going to keep it in there because it kind of is fine. It doesn't get in the way of the clothes and I had loads of free space. Then going down, we have my trousers. So up here in the top one, I have jeans. Again, I need to get rid of some because I have maybe three, four pairs that don't fit me anymore. But because it's where I've kind of like, not put on weight, but you know, grown. I can't bear to get rid of them just yet because it wasn't out of choice. But it's fine. Life happens. <laughs> no, but seriously, guys, if clothes don't fit you, don't beat yourself up about it. Like, I used to keep clothes and be like oh I'll lose weight to fit it and it's like it's such a toxic way to look at growing like growing is good anyway yeah so I have my three blue jeans and then I have some I only have like two pairs of black jeans these are just really dark blue then these are like my event trousers I have two pairs of event trousers lol these are all my flares these aren't really like uh nice enough to wear to events just quality wise like they're quite worn out then I have my dickies cargoes and i have some like all my leatherish pleather trousers at the back down here is a bit of a mess but this is like my tracksuits type section so i have all of my juices at the back which are just too old to wear out now then i have this which is really cute it's like a knitted skirt more trackies trousers shorts la di da I really need the toilet. I'm going to go to the toilet and BRB. Toilet trip has happened. Now I feel a lot better. I don't know what these... <coughs> I don't know what these scratches are on my face. Ignore those. Anyway, now for my, like, Victoria's Secret drawer. This is my pride and joy. It has all my bras. So some faves are lounge. This is Urban Outfitters. This one is. Uh, Topshop have lovely ones. And then down the sides, I have my bralette. I feel like I'm saying bra. Really weird. Then at the back in this container, I have all like my comfy bralettes so calvin klein's stuff like that those are what i wear on a daily i don't really wear these unless you can see your bra under your top just because i hate wearing bras so i'll literally wear the least uncomfortable thing i can then my pant drawer these are my nice lace ones these are my comfy ones these are my socks i don't know <laughs> then we have oh uh, this is a good Oh, see, this is the issue with the wardrobe. Is it slightly, it needs to be like there, but Dad's gonna fix it. Not this weekend because we're away, but the one after. So, this is my next drawer. This is probably my favorite. I use a M M Maria Kondo. I can't remember her name, but Mum taught me how to like fold the tops like her. And these are all of my cool black graphic, well, not just black, but my cool graphic tops. So, we have like loads of gems, obviously. And the way they're folded, you can like see easily what top it is and what top you want which is perfect and yeah these are all like kind of my cooler tops i wouldn't really wear these to events but i should because they're all really cool and then this is my more summer tops so i can't really put them away in my under bed storage just because i will need them sometimes but these are more like crop tops vests more like going out clubbing tops basically so i have you know vests little tops it's mostly color coordinated like this is just so satisfying to me i love it so that is all for this section moving on to my coats oh my gosh my pride and joy for this side i decided to have just two railings and no storage because we realized i have long coats as you can see and i also have long dresses in summer so just to have two railings that i can put them all on will be way more useful than loads of you know drawers and shelves and stuff although ideally if i had just one more section it'd be incredible but i don't have room in my room for that so life goes on <laughs> hard life i am joking by the way so underneath we this is where it gets a bit messy that I need to sort so I have my little fake tool bags my big tote bags and then I have that is my gym stuff and then these are bags and that is hoodies shoes and a hoodie so yeah it's oh no those are PJs anyway 
it's a mess so i need to find nice storage to put that almost as a shelf below but for now it will do then i have my fur coat so for the bottom one i might just go through some of the brands before you guys ask so a few of these are vintage a few of them are really old but yeah the only ones that i bought this year is this one from h&m which is just my dream coat like it's stunning that's the only one that i've bought and then actually i was really kindly gifted this one here those are the only new ones this is like a long I wore this the other day, it's like a duvet Then I have, this is vintage I bought this for like £3, it's my fave thing ever This is old Topshop, this is my skin Skin coat actually These two jackets, this is Primark And this is Monkey I think I've had those two for a couple years This I've had for years too, Miss Selfridge But I might gift to a sister or a friend or so A sister, my sister or a friend or something Because I already have one that's quite similar Old PLT This is vintage this is like, I've had this maybe five years. Literally crazy. This is also vintage. I say vintage, like charity shop, you know. This is super old too. This is vintage. See, I get a lot of like, get a lot of stick for not buying vintage stuff. But a lot of my wardrobe is. You guys just don't see it, I guess. And then this, I don't really wear as much. I might deep up that one. Um, But yeah, those are all like my fur coats. I love the colour coordination. Just, oh, look at that. Gorge. Then, oh, I hit my light. Oops. Um, Then at the top, we have like my puffers and other jackets. So these are denim jackets. I was gifted this at an event. This is vintage, but I love it. Flynn and mum hate it though. These are just like black fur ones. I think this is Boohoo and Zara. I can't quite remember. Oh, this is the other coat I got recently. Primark. It's like leather. Obviously fake. I'm obsessed. This I've had a while too. This is Topshop. Really old Primark. Vintage. Vintage. H&M. I have no idea I've had that for so long. And vintage. So let's go through my fave coats. I love this one. This one's so cool. Everyone will hate this, but I just think it's so cute. It's like cropped. But my absolute favourite coat ever right now is this H&M one. It's just insane. I'm obsessed with it. I also love these type coats. I can't remember what they're called. Like, you know, those ones. Al Afghan coats. I can't remember. But that is tall my wardrobe it's not like a full room tour obviously never promised you guys that <laughs> no i will do a full room tour but my room's just such a mess that it wouldn't make sense to do a room tour currently um but that was it i hope you guys enjoyed i hope that was up to expectation for you guys and i'll see you very soon excuse my hair clip i'll see you guys so soon with a room transformation video Woo -woo!